an ounce. Pride and intolerance. It's my privilege to share an ounce with you. During the American Civil War, there was a chief ordnance officer for the Union Army by the name of James Wolfe Ripley. He was in charge of purchasing and distributing weaponry to the Union troops. Now, Mr. Ripley was an interesting character. He was cantankerous. He was set in his ways. He didn't like new things. When it came to rifles, it was the muzzle-loading musket for him. In spite of the fact that the Spencer Company was producing a repeating rifle that worked very well and had been proven in the battlefield, somehow without the help of Mr. Ripley, about 2,500 of these rifles had gotten into the hands of some Union troops who had used them effectively to hold off a Confederate attack from a number three times their size. But, you know, Mr. Ripley just wasn't interested in that. In fact, when Mr. Lincoln was able to force him to actually purchase the rifles, Ripley thought, well, he didn't tell me how many I had to buy and whether or not I even had to distribute them, so I'll just buy a few and keep them here in the warehouse. Troops in the field were aware that this new technology existed and that it worked, and they began to purchase the rifles as they were able with their own money. So what was the effect of Mr. Ripley's bad attitude about new things? Experts tell us that he probably extended the war by two years and cost hundreds of thousands of lives. Pretty shocking that one man can do that. So here's the ounce. All of us have our favorite ideas, concepts, theories. We don't necessarily find ourselves being tolerant of new ideas or something different. It's important to be tolerant, to have our eyes and our ears and our hearts open to the fact that somebody might have a better idea. Refusal to accept that possibility can be very costly.